Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and today I will show you how to do one of the main elements of parkour, the monkey vault. Before we start, let's rate the monkey vault on the ABC scale where C is a beginner and A is advanced. So let's start learning the monkey vault. The first question and even a fear that arises concerning the monkey vault is whether the legs will pass between the hands. To answer this question and to remove fear you can do the following exercises. You need to find or draw a line. Squat down and place your hands on the line. Jump so that your socks are in between your hands. Next push with your hands on the line and removing your hands jump out of the line. Then add a jump on your hands so you will have more speed and it will be easier to bring your legs forward. Now find a low and wide obstacle. There should be a line for hands. If you don't have any, then just imagine it. Place your hands further away, approximately in the middle of the obstacle to have a place for your legs. Jump your toes to the edge. Then place your hands closer to the edge of the obstacle and jump your feet in between your hands. After that, place your hands and jump over the line of your hands. At the last stage, add a jump on your hands and jump out of the line of your hands as far as possible. Now we need to practice the monkey vault on a high obstacle. Please note that the obstacle should be stable. First, jump onto the obstacle with both feet on the outside of your hands. Then jump with both feet to the place of one hand. To do this, you need to bend your knees more. In the next step, jump onto the obstacle with both feet in between your hands. In this case, you can take your hand off the obstacle. When you feel confident, jump onto the obstacle with both feet without taking your hands off. After that, when you are ready, try to jump on the obstacle, immediately stand up to your full height and then jump down. Don't forget to check the landing area before the jump. Then do the same, but don't stand up to your full height, immediately jump forward. In the next step, jump over the obstacle lightly resting with bent legs. And then push harder with your hands and jump over the obstacle without touching it with your feet. If you're still afraid to swing your legs between hands on a high obstacle, try to swing your legs sideways as in preparation for a speed vault. By the way, if you want a tutorial for this element, write in the comments let's speed vault. When you are jumping, if the left hand is supporting, you need to lean on your right foot and step over the obstacle with your left foot. Then jump over the obstacle by bringing two legs to the side and raising your right arm. Each time pull your legs closer to the supporting arm. Then add the push with both hands and get your legs through the center. Please write in the comments which way of learning is easier for you, first or second. When you can jump over an obstacle confidently, you can add the run up before the jump. When you are running up, swing your arms from behind your back and jump on two legs. If you want to master parkour elements and acrobatics easily, you need to improve your body. Especially for you, I have created an online workout, Art of Body Control. Follow the link in the description and let's train together. In the future, to make a full-length monkey vault after the run-up, you need to push off with one foot and swing your heel from the bottom up with other foot. At the same time, you need to make a strong push with your hands from the obstacle to raise your shoulders and not fall forward. After you learn how to do monkey vault with the run-up, you can go further learning monkey to stick, monkey to cat and monkey gainer. This will improve your flow. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see the next video how to do the dash vault.